Hey everyone, I'm Lauren and my pronouns are they and them. Thank you for joining us for the Use Ask Orientation 2020. We're going to get started at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. Until then, I'm going to count us down with some music. We will also be sharing messages from new students and alumni. So get comfortable and join us on social media. Share where you are and how you're feeling by using the hashtag WeAreUseAsk. Good morning, everyone. And welcome to the University of Saskatchewan's orientation, the first in the university's history, a, well, a virtual welcome. We're coming to you from the Saskatoon campus of the University of Saskatchewan on Treaty 6 territory and the homeland of the Métis. My name is Elizabeth Adebite. My friends call me Liz. My pronouns are she, her. I'm originally from Nigeria, and I'm in my second year pharmacy. And my name is Cody Bugler, and my pronouns are he, him. I'm originally from Red Pheasant Cree Nation, but I've, living for, I've been living for some time in Saskatoon. I graduated with a degree in Indigenous Studies at USASC, and I currently work as a recruitment officer at the university. Cody and I will be your hosts for the next two hours. We're going to be sharing some important information about programs and supports available to you. We'll also have music, special guests, and most importantly, you'll have the opportunity to win lots of great prizes, like In what you see here. Right, including a grand prize of a $500 gift card from Shop You Sask. You can buy a lot of stuff like this with that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this morning, it's not about Cody or me. It's all about you, welcoming you to the University of Saskatchewan's community. But before we get started, we just wanted to say a few words about the setup of our broadcast today. While we're aiming for a fun time together this morning, it's important you're aware of how seriously we're taking the circumstances we're facing. We developed a comprehensive safety plan for the broadcast today. Our crew, host, and guest have all taken the university's COVID-19 safety training. Everyone in the studio is maxed and following social distance guidelines. Cody and I will be distant from each Georgia during our studio with our studio guest and in between the live segments, we'll be putting on our mask. So, with that said, let's properly introduce you to our social media host for the broadcast, Lauren Chronic. If you joined us before nine, you already saw a little bit of Lauren DJing for us. Now, over to you, Lauren. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much, Cody, and good morning, afternoon, or even evening to you all, wherever you are today. Like Liz said, today is about you. In fact, more than 3,600 of you who registered for our orientation. That's a pretty impressive number. The highest we can actually remember for a USASC orientation in history. It's pretty cool that we're here to start this journey together and virtually. I've seen lots of We Are USASC hashtag posts already all over social media, so please get your device out, your computer, however you share your life on social media, and keep on sharing with us. I want to start by telling you about the USAS Scavenger Hunt, the new student edition. You can play by downloading the free Goose Chase app on your device, whatever device works for you. There's a link to it on the new students page or just Google it. The game involves several missions in which your task is to locate important information about student life and studies at the University of Saskatchewan. 
all the good stuff you need to know as a new or even returning student. 2020 has been pretty different, remember? The cool bit is that all USAS players can win prizes. Each day, four players with over 400 points will be randomly chosen to win a $20 Shop USAS gift card. But don't wait too long to start playing because this game has an end date. It ends on Friday at 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. At that time, the player with the highest overall score will win a $500, yeah, you heard that right, $500 Shop USAS gift card. Think of what you could get for that. Books, apparel, husky clothing, study supplies, technology, really whatever you want. Not too bad, hey? I would sure want to win that. So download the app, read the rules, and get playing and hopefully winning. And now for our first prizes. All right. We, you can win not only the, use, the, the Sastel suitcase, but its contents. I don't know what's inside. Do you know what's inside? Pretty mysterious. So to stand a chance of winning, I want you to use the hashtag WeAreYouSask to tell me what you think is inside the suitcase. Come up with whatever you can think of. It really could be anything. I have no idea, and I'm not giving you any hints. My favorite five posts. So remember, five posts on social media with the most creative suggestions in terms of what is inside the suitcase will be winners. And remember, use the hashtag WeAreYouSask so I can see where you're posting. All right, you've got 15 minutes. Get thinking and get posting with what's inside the suitcase. So Cody, it's time we get started. It is. Mm -hmm. First, we wanted to share with you a bit about our history and our values as a university community. Mm -hmm. We asked one of the university's indigenous elders, Roland Duquette, to share with us his thoughts about we are, who we are as a university community. What you're about to see was his response in both English and in our native language, Cree. Following that, you'll hear from our wonderful USAS Chancellor, Grit McGreeth, who recorded a message for you in the sunshine on campus a few days ago. For thousands of years, this place has shaped us, fed us, clothed us, taught us, and we thrived. Our relationship with the land is what binds us. The land has always been our first teacher. The river is a symbol of change and a symbol of resilience. Its winding path leads us to the place we now call the University of Saskatchewan. For generations, we have stood on this path, separate but together. Our parallel journeys towards our unique destinations are in harmony. We walk alongside one another, guiding, nurturing, sharing, learning, and uplifting one another, always working to do things in a good way with integrity. Nikani Tanuma Machi Hituinik. This is who we are at a university community. Good morning to all of you online, both near and far. My name is Grit McCreeth, and I could not be more excited to be speaking to you today as the Chancellor on the Saskatoon campus of your university. 
I want to start by acknowledging that the University of Saskatchewan is on Treaty 6 territory and the homeland of the Métis. We pay our respect to the First Nations and Métis ancestors of this place and reaffirm our relationship with one another. This day has been a long time coming for many of you. For others, it may feel it suddenly sprung up from nowhere, almost unexpectedly, as summer comes to an end. However you may be feeling, I hope today brings a sense of excitement and pride. I know that the past few months will not have been easy for any of you. The challenges of life and study have become that much greater for everyone. But here we are. You worked hard. You persisted. You made sacrifices. You overcame the obstacles that were in your path and the challenges that came your way. You made it. For that, I congratulate every one of you. Today, you may find yourselves at home in Saskatchewan or other provinces in Canada. Some of you may be on the campus in Saskatoon in the halls of residence. Some of you may even be in other countries. Wherever you are, today is about celebrating you becoming part of the University of Saskatchewan community. And for those of you returning, we welcome you back to what is sure to be a school year like no other. While I recognize that this is likely not how you pictured this day or this school year, it's important that you recognize you are part of a class at the university at the most extraordinary time in our history. In recent months, we have found our ways of thinking and doing things challenged. We've needed to adjust the way we live, work, teach and learn. Almost everything has changed. Together we've met that challenge. We've shown ourselves to be adaptable, innovative and, most of all, compassionate. We have found ways to keep moving forwards, just as you have. Over the summer months, faculty and staff in the colleges have spent countless hours preparing to provide you with the fullest and most meaningful learning experience they can this fall. And all the support units are standing with primarily virtual service models to support you. This year, like any other, you will need to be brave and reach out to discover new interests, acquire new skills, and try new things. But this year, unlike any other, you will need to do the majority of this in a largely virtual context. I urge you to meet that challenge by doing more, giving more, connecting more. I promise that the rewards for doing so will be huge. Through this year, carry with you the knowledge that the entire University of Saskatchewan community is always there to support you. While we may be largely physically apart, we are together. We are the University of Saskatchewan and we strive to be the university the world needs. You can do your part in this in your own way by being brave, bold, compassionate, curious and being what the world needs. May I wish you a fun and exciting day and a great year ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Elder Duquette and Chancellor McCreet for those wise and encouraging words. Special thanks also go to the research profile and impact colleagues for sharing the aerial footage of our beautiful campus. Next up, you're going to hear from the deans of some of your colleges. Just in case some of you don't know, a dean is the head of a college. Mm -hmm. They are the boss. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, we asked a few of your deans to tell us what tips they would like to give new students, and here is what they said. Hi, my name is Peter Bonham-Smith. 
I'm the Dean of the College of Arts and Science at the University of Saskatchewan. And my top tip to our new students is try something new. At the university, you'll have the freedom to try something new, something different. Something that you've always wanted to do but have never had the opportunity to try before. Something you know nothing about, but you want to give it a go. Trying something new, something different, provides you the opportunity to look at things in a different way, to look at the world in a different way, to look at yourself in a different way. So why not take that class that you've never heard of, you know nothing about, but it sounds really interesting. Why not catch that public lecture that piques your interest? Why not join a campus club? Because it appeals to you. You get to make new friends. Why not try something new, try something different? Hello, Edwards School of Business first year students. My name is Keith Willoughby and I'm the Dean of the Edwards School of Business and I want to officially welcome you to first year orientation. Welcome to the University of Saskatchewan. Welcome to the Edwards School of Business. Edwards School of Business, fun fact, Pepsi, Microsoft, Saskatchewan Rough Riders, three organizations in Canada run by graduates of the Edwards School of Business. First year students, let me leave you with two tips of advice. Number one, there is no such thing as a silly question. If you feel a question is meaningful, please ask it to your professors in the classroom. And number two, go Huskies. Cheer for the green and white. They will return one day. All the best, have a great day, and welcome first year students. Hi everyone, I'm Angela Bedard Hahn, Dean of the College of Agriculture and Bioresources. On behalf of all of us here at AgBio, welcome to the University of Saskatchewan. My top tip for you today, stay open. Open to new ideas, new experiences, new people, new possibilities, new opportunities. We've all seen a lot of upheaval and change this year. But by keeping an open mind and an open heart, you'll be better able to ride the waves of change. So stay open, enjoy the ride, and have a great year. Hi everyone, my name is Michelle Pratula and I'm the Dean of the College of Education. Even though this year's orientation is in a slightly different format than I would prefer, I didn't want to miss the opportunity to welcome you to the University of Saskatchewan. The tip I'd like to share with you, especially in a year like this one, is to focus on your strengths and your resilience in order to achieve your goals. By being self-aware about how you're thinking, feeling, and acting in situations that are both easy for you as well as in those that are more challenging, you will be able to draw on your strengths in tough situations in order to flourish. The key to all of this is practicing resilience. Have a great year. So, the burning question is, you're probably wondering who won the suitcases, right? I know I am, and my social media with the hashtag WeAreYouSask is blowing up with some pretty great answers, like stuff I definitely would not have thought of. I'm gonna share some comments and then I'm gonna announce the five winners. So there's comments like Huskies clothing and gear, student store gift card, loose hand, sta loose hand sanitizer. There's lots of COVID themes I see going on here, which, you know, stay on brand. Uh, a small human, um, that's a little terrifying. I promise you it's probably not that for liability. Uh, tech supplies, a laptop, I could sure use a new one. I sure you could too. Uh, all right, but what you really want to know is who won the top five answers. So I have so many social media posts to search through, but here's my top five. So from Jeremy underscore Reinhardt 556, I think there's some Huskies clothing and gear and a student store gift card. I would say that's a pretty decent answer. So one of my favorites. Uh, from Allison, I'm thinking there are a few essentials for remote learning. Maybe a t-shirt, a pop socket, maybe there's a gift card in there, maybe an agenda or organizing book because virtual learning requires a lot of organization to maintain a schedule of learning. This is a very in-depth answer and uh, really great as we lead into a new semester with online learning. 
Husky clothing, mask, water bottle, and a laptop from Syed. And then two more face masks from Hamza. And the last winner, I hope the bag is just filled with loose hand sanitizer from Thai Sauce. So congratulations. We will get you more information on getting your prizes. And congratulations, and thank you. Keep those messages coming. Uh, obviously, you can still guess what's inside the suitcases, but we've just awarded those prizes. There are still lots of prizes coming up. We will be in touch to get your postal address and sending those suitcases out to you. Speaking of addresses, as you're registering, as you're registering for the school year, make sure that you log on to pause.usas.ca and update your personal information, especially with your current mailing address. It's really important this year to know where in the world you are. Makes sense, right? I think so. All right, let's move on. As you know, we have new USAS students from all around the globe. I've been looking at who's using the hashtag WeAreUSAS furthest away from us today. We have people in India and England and so on. We have so many international students joining us, which is really, really, really exciting. So for the next prize draw, I'm going to ask a question and I want you to post the answer using the same WeAreUSAS hashtag. Again, I'm going to choose five answers, but this time at random in 15 minutes. Those lucky winners are going to win a Shop USAS voucher worth $100, which can get you a pretty decent amount of stuff. All right, the question is, so again, five answers. Here's the question. The University of Saskatchewan is opening a pretty cool new campus location this month. What city is that campus located? I'll repeat the question again. USASC is opening a very cool new campus location later this month. What city is that campus located? Couldn't be easier. You've got Google, get searching and posting. Post on social media with hashtag WeAreUSASC. Now, back to Liz and Cody, who've been joined by a special guest in the studio. Thanks, Lauren. And thank you so much, Sastel, for all those wonderful prizes. We are very excited to have in the studio with us our very own Vice Provost of Teaching, Learning and Student Experience, Dr. Patty McDougall. Welcome, Patty. It's great to have you with us. Thank you, Liz. Good morning. Good morning, Cody. Good morning, Lauren. Thank you to the three of you, everybody here who's doing such a great job on the live stream. So grateful. Thanks, Patty. It's great to have you with us. So we've been told you're one of the busiest people at the university. So I imagine the past few months have been pretty uneventful for you. Oh, absolutely, Cody. You know, <laughs> just kicking back in my pajamas, watching Netflix at the house. Um, I, I wish, I wish that were the case. I think I've probably been busier in these last five months than I can ever remember. Um, but it's an exciting busy. It's a, it's a challenge. It's the sort of thing that you really get into. And uh, by good fortune, I've had hundreds and hundreds of people at the university working alongside me to, to make this an incredible fall. And can you tell us about what students should expect in terms of their programs and support this year? Great, Liz. So lots of innovation and revisioning going on. So our faculty colleagues have been hard at work taking a look at their courses and thinking about their learning outcomes and deciding how to make that into a successful remote offering. So most of our students will be engaged in remote delivery for the fall. There are some in-person activities going on, some of the health sciences where you can imagine you, you, you need to be able to touch people to be a doctor, you need to touch animals to be a, to be a veteran to be a veterinarian. So um, I think our students can expect a lot of effort has gone into the preparation of their courses. I think it's going to be a, a, a great and innovative experience. And then of course, um, Liz, we have all of the same student supports up and running that we have had. They're all available virtually. So they're all designed uh, to meet students' needs at this time. Thank you. Wonderful, Patty. Thank you. So. With that said, I'm wondering if we could talk a little bit about student health and well-being, particularly mental health. What are some ways students can stay healthy and connected? So, you know, Cody, one of the things I've been saying lately to people who have been asking me, not about mental health, but they've been asking me about, you know, how is this really going to go and how are our students going to cope? So I, I, for one, recognize the incredible stresses that our students are under. 
uh, financial stresses, uncertainty, um, not being able to travel, not being able to do the things you would normally do. So I completely get that. But I also believe that we have a generation of people entering the university right now, today, hopefully many of whom are watching the live stream, a generation of people who are going to show us what it is to maintain a sense of community and belonging in a virtual space. I know that the students coming in understand how to make those things, how to make those things work. On the mental health side, I think everybody has to look to what works for them to cope and to try to think about what you need to do to balance. So for me, I run. Um, if I couldn't run all since, you know, since mid-March, I'm, I'm not even sure I'd still be sitting here. So that's what I do to keep a balance between my psychological wellness, my physical wellness. But pe different people do different things. You want to think about that intentionally. What works for you? You've got to have time with your friends. Got to have sleep, got to have downtime, time with family. All of those things matter, um, and all of those things are going to help uh, students to, to, to be their best throughout the course of this year. Thanks, Patty. And some of the deans have been sharing tips for student success, and you've said a lot of tips already. So I'll just head over to Cody. Okay. Well, I think she might have one more. What's one tip that you would share? <laughs> Yay, Cody, thank you. Thank you for giving me the chance. So every year at this time, this year is no different for me. Every year, when I, whatever chance I get to, to meet students, I always say to them, um, take a risk, reach for something more, do something that you didn't think you were capable of doing and surprise yourself when you're successful at that and keep trying, keep going, um, but do, do make sure to try to reach for something more. We were told that you had a very special task and activity to play with us. Is that correct? I do, I do. So um, I meet, you know, um, in, in, a, in a year, over the course of the year, um, I, I meet only a fraction of our students. We have almost 26,000 students at the University of Saskatchewan. Um, I, I don't get to see all of them. I don't get to, to get to know all of them. Um, but what I thought would be fun today so that people could get to know a little bit more about me um, and uh, would be to introduce myself through a true or false game. So I have a bunch of items that I want um, Cody, I want you and Liz to guess whether I'm telling the truth about myself or whether it's false. Okay. Okay, that sounds good. I think, I think we're ready. Yeah. Okay, so five things. So here's the first one. So now I have um, a, a PhD in, in an area of psychology, but um, my lowest mark in first year when I was a first year student was in fact in psychology. Uh, do you think that's true? Or do you think I'm lying about that? My lowest mark was in psychology. True or false? What do you think, Liz? Uh, I'll say false. I think that's false. How could someone have a PhD in psychology, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. their lowest mark be psychology? <laughs> I know, right? Crazy. How could that possibly be true? But it is absolutely true that that was the case. Oh, wow. And um, I went into university knowing that I wanted to be a psychologist. I went in determined. And uh, yeah, I completely tanked in that first year psych class. Uh, I had a hard time getting to know the multiple choice, but I was determined. And I think the message for me is one course does not define you. Mm -hmm. One course does not determine what your pathway is going to be. So you need to just keep going and uh, be all, work all the, more, all the harder, as I did, uh, to get what you want. Oh, my, it's up to me. Sorry, sorry. My turn. Um, uh, okay, here's one. You'll have to really think about this one. Okay. So, again, as an undergrad, I earn money at football games uh, dressed up as the Queen's University mascot, Boo Hoo the Bear. Do you think that's true? Did I dress up as Boo Hoo or false? What do you um, think, Liz? For me, students need money. So I'll, I walk a lot, so I would think maybe you walk as a mascot, just to earn some few. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah. what I would think. <laughs> Me, I'm going to say false. Uh, Patty, no offense to your height or anything, but I don't think you're tall enough to fit in the mascot oh. costume. <laughs> oh, Cody, you're too smart. So, yes, okay, there was no way I was going to dress up as Boo Hoo the Bear, but like Liz, I did work uh, throughout, throughout the course of my undergrad, but no. No, there was no mascot action going on for me in those days. 
the That's third one. one. <laughs> uh, sorry, I keep forgetting it's my turn. So the third one, in my, in my first year of university, um, I did not crack a textbook open until Thanksgiving in mid-October. Is that true about me? Did I not crack a textbook or is that false? What well, do you think? Mm. I think that's a pretty common experience, experience. so I, I would say true I'll for that one. Too. Yeah. I'll see okay, true. so so Liz and Cody are cottoning on to my undergraduate experience. That was in fact true for me. I was, how would you say, extremely engaged in my undergraduate life um, and uh, having an amazing time, as I always hope that our students will as well. And uh, yeah, there was no textbook reading. So again, you know, every time you go through something, right, why would I share this? Because every time you go through something, you learn something. So I would say, in hindsight, not a good plan, not a plan I would recommend for anyone. And it did take me uh, to, through that to learn um, what I needed to put into my classes in order to get out what I wanted. Mm -hmm. The next one is, um, in my third year of, uh, as an undergrad, um, I managed the bar on campus. Uh, and I was infamous for being very tough on uh, drunk students. Do you think that's true for me? Could you see me managing a bar or do you think that's false? Well, I, can, I think I can see you managing a bar, and I feel you're a principled person. I think you'll be strict, so I'll say true. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to say false. Patty is way too nice to be mean to people, come yeah. on. <laughs> yeah, well, I think you both know me. Um, and uh, I did, I absolutely did uh, manage a bar. Back to my point earlier about challenging yourself, getting into your, outside your comfort zone. Um, you know, there I was. Um, nothing, there's nothing more challenging than cutting off your friends when they've had too much to drink, believe me. But again, part of that experience taught me about people and managing people, managing your peers in those sorts of situations. So um, not only did I need to work to make money, but it was an incredible experience that has actually served me well throughout my life. And the last one, um, during, my grad, uh, during my graduate studies, um, I was part of a, a, I was somewhere else, I wasn't at the University of Saskatchewan, but I was part of a campus a cappella group that toured across Canada. And um, we actually performed at Convocation Hall here at the University of Saskatchewan. Do you think that's true for me? Um, could you imagine me touring in an a cappella group or, uh, or false? Am I lying or am I telling the truth? Hmm. It sounds a bit like the movie Pitch Perfect. I think that one's false. <laughs> mm, I think true. Because Patty has a nice voice, so I think it would translate into nice singing. Don't you think so? She speaks. I've never singing. heard her sing, so. <laughs> so, I, first of all, I love pitch, all, pitch, all the Pitch Perfects, one through three. Um, and uh, Liz is too sweet to me. I cannot carry a note to save my life. Uh, you don't want to hear me singing at all. So that one was false. That one was completely untrue. But thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Patty, for your honesty and your dishonesty. <laughs> <laughs> all right, just before you leave us, what is one hope you have for us this school year? I think my big hope is that students lean in to this experience. You're starting university. Um, this isn't how you imagine starting. This isn't, ima this isn't how we imagined you joining us, not at all. But we are determined to make it the best possible experience you can have. So I want you to lean in. I want you to get the best experience. Remember, we still have incredible profs. We still have incredible staff that are here to support you. That's what I hope for you. Thank you so much, Patty, for taking the time to be with us this morning and for sharing. We really appreciate your time. Good. Okay. Well, Liz and Cody, thank you for doing this, and uh, I will see you soon. And now, for a musical interlude, we're going to hear a song, One Voice, composed by Ruth Moody and performed by the University of Saskatchewan's Greystone Singers, who are alumni, and it was conducted by Jennifer Lang. So this song was recorded this summer when the choir was physically apart and then their individual performances were brought together by our very skilled colleagues in media production. And for the eagle-eyed among you, you may also notice our president and vice chancellor, Peter Stoichev, accompanying the singers on guitar. So now here is one voice.
This is the sound of voices too. One gather with the wind. <laughs> <laughs> this is a sound. Of one. The sound of <laughs> one. This no. is the sound of all. Of one. Watch the editor lose his mind. And our voices three. Oh, two. Wasn't that beautiful? I really appreciated the bloopers also. <laughs> now, a few days ago, we put out a call on our social media channels to ask us anything about the University of Saskatchewan. Anything? Yes, now that, that means anything. Yeah. So we also committed to giving a 100% honest answer from our perspectives. Is that a good idea? Well, I, I think we'll be okay. okay. <laughs> but Lauren, do you mm -hmm. have the submitted questions? You bet I do. There were lots and I chose 10. So why don't we start with an easy one? Question one, should I actually buy the textbooks? Well, for me, I would say, wait until you're certain that you need them. Good answer. Number two, I have anxiety and ADHD and I'm really worried about coping this year. What advice can you both give me? All right. Um, for that, I would say, first of all, register with Access and Equity Service. Um, they will plan uh, accommodations for you. Um, they will work with you. And also talk to your professors and your colleagues. They are very understanding with um, people that have need for accommodations. Yeah. There's so many classes that I wish I would have taken. How about you? Is there a class that you wish you would have taken? Yeah, I think I would have liked to have taken astronomy. It sounded, oh, nice. sounded really interesting. Yeah. 
Um, for me, I think I would have loved to take a class just in writing, like academic mm -hmm. writing, mm -hmm. um, and also using the services as well as the, the library services, like the writing help and things like that. Yeah. Absolutely. Cody, I think I'm with you on astronomy. That sounds <laughs> super cool, and I'm not a science person, but if I was going to take one, that would be it. Number four. I'm really excited about my courses this year, but I'm worried about trying to balance work and study. What advice can you give me on that? Oh, that's a really great question, Lauren. So personally, I decided to pace myself before mixing work and study, but I also understand that some people need to work while they're studying. So I think for most people, if you are able to um, work or study without working, I would test it out first and then assess your capability. And then afterward, you can make the choices that you find necessary. Also, just to add to that, this is a new semester where learning is completely online. Turn off your device for a while. Um, I have really bad eyesight, so being on a screen all day is not necessarily my friend. Get outside, take a walk, take time for yourself to off screen. Uh, question five, as a new international student, I am worried about not knowing anyone and not fitting in. Do you have any advice? Yes, I would say as an international student, there's, there will be this fear that, oh, I don't know anyone, but put yourself out there. Join clubs. Um, there are a lot of clubs that will be out. Try and join clubs. Try and make friends. I know we're virtual now, but um, with the clubs, try and reach out to um, services out there, and I'm sure you'll get, um, you get into the community well. Question six. When is a good time to see an academic advisor? That's a great question, Lauren. Um, speaking on the staff side, I would say talk to an academic advisor as early as you possibly can. The best time to talk to them is very early before you need to register and also plan your uh, years ahead of you over the whole course of your degree. All right, this is my favorite question as someone who is not from Saskatchewan yeah. and I still don't believe this is a real word. Yeah. But what is a bunny hug? Funny thing, I just um, discovered what a bunny hug was just last year. Um, let me see, do we have, um, oh, okay, I think so. All righty. So, a bunny hug is just a sweater with a hoodie, okay? So, it's just the warm sweater we wear and it has the hoodie, so. That's what it is called in Saskatchewan. Is it Saskatchewan? Yeah, yeah. I think the important distinction between a hoodie and a bunny hug yeah. is a bunny hug doesn't have a zipper on it. Okay, okay. I'm but, learning that one now. But That's the hoodie does. Thing. Okay, yeah. so I thought everyone, whether the zipper or not. I think when it doesn't have a zipper, that's oh, when okay. it's a bunny hug. Well, I see, yeah. we learn every day, so I'm just learning that as well. So basically, if I go to my hometown of Montreal, I should definitely say bunny hug and no one's going to know what I mean. But yeah. at least now, thanks for those examples. I feel like I have an accurate description. All right. Speaking of things that are very Saskatchewan specific, number eight, I read somewhere that it gets as cold as minus 50 degrees in Saskatchewan. I can't even imagine what that feels like. How do you even survive in that weather? I know I couldn't. Well... Lauren, for me, I think I'm still sitting here today. There's been a few times in my life where it has gotten down to very close or at the minus 50 point, and I'm still standing. No, uh, I would just say it's very important to stay inside and bun or if you do need to go out, bundle up and make sure you're not outdoors for longer than a few minutes when it does get to those extreme cold temperatures. Fun fact, when I lived in Montreal, I used to just layer on top of myself okay. and then put a giant sleeping bag over my coat I'll and somehow somewhere. survived. But uh, minus 50 sounds really extreme. So at least we have tons of sunshine in Saskatchewan. That's like the saving grace for the winter. Uh, number nine, my spiritual life is hugely important to my well-being. Being new to Saskatoon, how can I get connected to a new faith community in the city? All right, that's a very important um, question, um, Lawrence, because I know so many students will be wondering, oh, now um, they're still very part of, their faith is a very huge part of their lives. Mm -hmm. I'll advise you, um, first of all, at the U of S, we, um, we have provisions for that as well. So I'll advise you to log into um, the website and see what we have with the faith leaders. We have about 12 faith leaders, and that could connect you to a wonderful community of people. And also, um, w the province has a lot of nice spiritual um, 
events as well. So just plug in and have fun with that. Mm -hmm. I would also say, I believe right now the ASC is also doing their smudge and share ceremonies mm -hmm. virtually. Uh, so there's also the opportunity for Indigenous students to get connected with uh, fellow Indigenous uh, members of campus and uh, having the opportunity to practice in ceremony in that way. Mm -hmm. um, I know a very good person to get in touch with in regards to ceremonial connection is Rachel Fiddler with the ASC. She's an awesome colleague and uh, she's the cultural coordinator for the Aboriginal Student Center. She's a great person to get in touch with. In terms of other faith-based stuff, um, a lot, as we know, a lot of congregations or communities are not happening in person right now, so they're happening online. Um, get in touch with different congregations in Saskatoon and you'll be able to join a community from the comfort of your own home, which is pretty great. All right, things I could have told myself in my first year. Number 10, what advice would you give your first year self? Sure, I'll start. So if I were to give my first year self some advice, I absolutely would tell myself to start assignments early and be sure to submit them on time. Um, another thing is just don't get into the habit of um, not attending because that's a very slippery slope to get onto. And that's what I would tell my first year self a number of years ago. And yeah. That's a good one, Cody. Um, what I'll tell my first year self is that don't be as, um, ashamed or afraid to seek help. Um, it happened to me. I, had, I waited till the very last moment to seek for help. If you feel overwhelmed or you think you cannot meet up and you're feeling overwhelmed about everything, just talk to your professors or ask for help. Seek help. It really, really helps. So that's the advice I will give. And don't just feel bad. You may not do well in a grade. You may not do well in classes. That doesn't define you, okay? Your first assessment or your first um, midterm may be bad. That's okay, but that doesn't define you. Just pick yourself up and push yourself further. It's okay if you get a not decent mark that you were expecting of yourself in your first or second semester. Don't be hard on yourself, especially right now where we're really in uncharted territory and learning online, um, we all learn in different ways. And so learning online is not gonna look the same for everybody. Um, as someone who has ADHD, learning online is really difficult for me. I am an in-person person. And so find time to socially distance, wear masks and get together with your colleagues and your classmates and discuss how you're doing. Cause uh, it's hard and I think it's totally okay to be real about this is gonna be difficult, um, but we are all in this together. As someone who struggles with mental health issues as well, um, I'm so cognizant of my limits. Um, when I've had enough, I try to take a break. I just know I can't do too much. So that's one thing. And having to rest, it's okay to say you can't do it, like knowing to know your limits. So that's one thing I do. Then I, um, when I feel so overwhelmed, I tend, to, I tend to withdraw from the things that overwhelm me. So I think tend to know my triggers, what triggers my like being anxious about things. So I tend to um, remove myself from them. So being so cognizant of what's happening around you and honestly just be vulnerable with yourself. If you need to talk to someone, if you need to see a therapist, it doesn't hurt. Instead it's of much, much help there. Don't feel you're the only one that has that issue. So many of every, everybody to, um, has um, a mental health issue as well. We're all on a spectrum when it comes to our mental health. So seek help, rest, and don't be afraid to be vulnerable. Thank you. Yeah, for me, I would just say it's very important to stay in touch with friends and family. Mm -hmm. I know sometimes the phone, it seems like people are a distance away, but really make use of a video chat, texting, and all that sort of thing. Don't be shy to call people. Um, a lot of the time people mostly just text, but calling really goes the extra distance and making you feel more connected. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, that was great. Thank you for all of your answers. Um, that was some really deep digging into the true you Sask experience. And now back to social media. So my social media has been blowing up, as you can tell by all of those questions that we just answered. So many of you were using the hashtag we are you Sask. So if you remember, about 20 minutes ago, I asked a question. In which city is the university opening a new campus location? And so 
As you may have figured out, I'm sure lots of you are following along as well, the new USASC location is going to be, that's my drum roll, Prince Albert. Um, it, it's been really hard to choose uh, just five answers, but I want to show some really great answers because I had uh, a lot of people who were really excited about this. So let's see who won. All right. We have one person saying, how exciting. The University of Saskatchewan is opening a new campus location, Forest Center in Prince Albert. Woot, woot from Courtney. Congratulations, you won a prize. Prince Albert, clap, clap, clap emojis from Karen Jeet. Prince Albert, so much excitement about PA's new campus. This is really great. Prince Albert, the gateway to the north. This one I'm really excited about. New campus in Prince Albert, my city. From Hippity Critiky. Hippity Crippity, oh my goodness. Congratulations to you five. We'll be in touch to uh, get more information about getting you those prizes. You won a $100 Shop USAS gift card, which is really awesome. Good morning, welcome. We're so happy to have you with us for this year, our COVID special year. I'm Suzanne Cresta, Dean of Engineering, and I want to share with you two top tips. One is keep breathing, keep having fun, have fun even during COVID, that'll keep you going on the tough days. And my second one is, if you're confused in class, so are 10 other people. Don't hesitate, even if you can't think of a question, it's okay to say, we understood you up to here, and then it got confusing. Could you explain that last part again? Chats are really helpful for that, and we always appreciate when somebody pipes up and gives us a hand. So welcome, have fun, keep breathing, don't hesitate to ask questions. We're thrilled to have you here. Hi everyone, my name is Chad Linden, Dean of the College of Kinesiology. It's my pleasure to welcome you to the University of Saskatchewan and offer you this top tip for success as you embark on your academic journey with us. There's a mountain of evidence that those who stay active and maintain their physical health will not only achieve better outcomes when it comes to mental health and emotional health, but also they'll achieve better academically. I encourage you to get into a routine where you're staying active, getting a good night's sleep and eating well, as I know that those behaviors can help you achieve the kind of success that you would like to do academically and in all parts of your life. Welcome again, and all the best for a successful year. Hello and welcome to USASC. My name is Debbie Burston, and I'm the Dean of the College of Graduate and Postdoctoral Studies. But my message today is for all of you. I think I can really understand what you must be feeling. I only joined the university in July. I had to meet all the new people, learn about the institution, and adjust to a new city all during the pandemic. So I want you to trust me when I say it's actually not as hard as it seems. One of the really important things is to stay curious. Stay curious about your studies, but also stay curious about people. So take those opportunities to connect. Those connections and the people that you'll meet will really feed your soul. And in just a moment, we're going to be speaking with the president of the University of Saskatchewan Students Union. It's called USSU. Her name is Autumn LaRose Smith. But before we do that, there's a short message from the whole executive of the USSU. Hello from the USSU. We may not be able to see you on campus, but we are determined to make it the best year we can. You'll still be able to access many of our resources, including the Student Health Plan, UPASS, Empower Me, our housing and tutor registries, and many of our other services moving online. The Help Center, Pride Center, and Women's Center will also be available and we'll be offering online events and other initiatives throughout the year. We're only one click or phone call away if you find yourself in need of assistance. We are here to help. I can assist students with academic grievances and university level hearings. Student groups build community on campus and will continue to do so online. We built a new website to better showcase the groups that you can join and the events that you can attend. We've also opened up new avenues of funding to celebrate diversity and support equity on campus. 
We hope to catch you soon, but until then, you can find us on ussu.ca or on your favorite social media platform. Make sure to keep an eye out for the Welcome Week events and prizes. Welcome, Autumn. Thanks for taking the time to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Awesome. Thanks, Otto. What we're going to do is we're going to play a bit of a game. Uh, it's called the rapid fire question game. So what we will do is we'll ask you a series of questions and you'll have to answer quickly and honestly. Okay, I'll do my best. <laughs> Atom, are you a morning person or a night owl? A uh, night owl, 100%. <laughs> What's your favorite movie? Uh, Lion King 2. Dark chocolate or milk chocolate? Dark chocolate. iPhone or Android? Uh, Android, but I have an iPhone. <laughs> If you had one superpower, which one would you choose? Uh, to teleport so I don't have to walk. <laughs> okay, burgers or hot dogs? Hot dogs. All right, if you were on an island, a desert island, and allowed only one item, which one would you bring along? Oh, uh, I feel like years of leadership training should have prepared me for this question. Um, probably a uh, magnifying glass. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, Autumn, do you have a nickname? And if so, are you prepared to share it? My sister calls me butthead, but uh, <laughs> I, that's reserved for her. <laughs> All righty. So what's your dream job? What's your dream job? Uh, my dream job is somewhere I, to be determined, but somewhere where I'm in the community and uh, working with people. Mm -hmm. Okay, coffee drinker or tea drinker? Uh, iced coffee. <laughs> Favorite university course ever? Uh, Indigenous 273 with uh, Robert Henry. Have you ever Instagrammed your food? I don't think so, but don't quote me on that. Alrighty, are you a cat person or a dog person? Uh, dog person, but I will have both. Okay, who do you most admire? Uh, probably my mom. All right, Autumn, since we started these questions, have you lied? No. I... Are you sure? <laughs> I said butthead on air, so I don't think so. Alrighty. So now that we know you a little better, mm -hmm. uh, let's talk more about the USSU. So what, in what ways do you, um, does USSU support its members? Absolutely. Um, while our executive is staying up to date as possible um, with all the changes that have been happening through the uh, provincial federal government and with the university so that we can uh, better, at, better our advocacy for the students. Um, we're also working with our, our IT over time so that we can figure out uh, ways that we can move a lot of our services online. So um, that way we'll be able to offer a lot of the regular services that students know and love um, and then also introduce um, lots of new ones as well this year. So I'm really excited for that and for what's to come. Oh, okay, that's good. And what can undergrad expect to see from USS this fall since it's a, it's a virtual fall like a virtual term so yeah absolutely um like a so we're going to be uh hosting a lot of our events online just mm -hmm. so that uh, we're able to connect with those students virtually um, i think this will give us a greater opportunity of connecting with uh, students from all of our satellite communities as well um, the pa uh, campus announcement really excited to have those students mm -hmm. be able to participate um, at events that we would normally host uh here on our campus so that's really awesome that we're able to expand um, the USSU executive, we're releasing our strategic plan uh, really soon and that's going to have like a very detailed list of all of the goals that we plan to work on this year um, and then just doing what we can to listen to students, uh, getting a lot of emails from students asking questions, so answering those uh, whenever we, uh, and working on those answers um, as soon as possible. Wow, Autumn, those sound like some really <laughs> great initiatives. Mm -hmm. uh, the next question is, what are some of the ways undergrads can get involved in activities either this week or this term? Awesome. Well, this week we have the uh, USSU Welcome Week events. Normally we'd be having uh, huge concerts in the bowl and the beer gardens and uh, the vendors, mini donuts and all that. But uh, this week we've got uh, trivia nights, bingos. Uh, we have an online scavenger hunt as well and uh, a photo contest. Um, and those all have really great prizes, uh, over $1,000 in prizes for uh, the next couple of days events. Um, and then this uh, fall term, uh, we have two brand new uh, center coordinators that uh, we've hired, the Pride Center and the Women's Center, and as well as the Hype Se Help Center coordinator who are working on uh, some really great events, working on ways to bring that uh, programming 
online, as well as our new VP Student Affairs, Jory McKay, who's going to be bringing a lot of events. So uh, stay up to date through our uh, website and our Facebook page. Oh, wow. That's so wonderful. I'm excited to see what's in store. All right, so Autumn, when we say we are USACs, what does that mean to you? Uh, when we say we are USASC, uh, definitely that means that, uh, to me that sounds like we're family, we're community, uh, we are all uh, one and all in this together. Um, so just uh, connecting with uh, as many people as you can, even though it's virtually, that gives us the opportunity to connect uh, with those we may not have connected or connected uh, uh, brand new ways. Awesome, Autumn. Uh, do you have any final words of wisdom or encouragement for undergrads this year? Uh, yes, uh, you should reach out to the USSU, go to our Facebook page and our website to see what's available to you. Um, also, go make sure that you're applying for those scholarships and bursaries. There's hundreds of those out there and a lot go unclaimed, so uh, just making sure you're doing that and stay connected. I know it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard for everyone. Uh, I hate online school, but uh, we're going to get through this together and we're going to get through this strong. So i uh, really excited for the year. Thank you. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to be with us today, Autumn, and I wish you all the very best for your school year and your term as president. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now, we, know, we now know that um, being a new student isn't easy at all. And we spoke to Sage Spidel, a fourth year education student, about her transition to an experience at the University of Saskatchewan. Sage is also going to share a song of celebration about our connection with the land. Hamadakia Fe, Ambetu Washte, Panke Skaskawi, Sage Spidel. I'm going into my fourth year of university in the ITEP program. Looking back on my first year when I first began university, I started in the psychology course. I am now going to be graduating with my education degree. University has not always been easy for me. Coming into university, as a young indigenous woman, it was hard for me to find my place here. Coming into the ITEP program, I feel like I have found my family. And not only have I become a better student, I've become a better mother, daughter, sister, niece, and friend. The reason for choosing education and for coming to the university in the first place was as a young indigenous girl in the classroom, I was always looked at as less than. It is my goal now that I am able to, with my degree, to make sure that no indigenous student that is in the classroom will ever feel less than. So I never had that connection with a teacher in my journey from elementary school to high school. Um, it wasn't until I got here to the U of S where I started to see myself not only in the classroom but to connect with my profs. And it is one day that I hope to wish to do that to another student also. The advice I would give to any student coming into the University of Saskatchewan is to have fun, to have the best time at your hair and to build those relationships not only with your peers but with your profs if you're able to. With the community, with the staff, whatever resources are here on the university, they're here to help you. I found myself here, and I'm sure you can find yourself here too.
Wow, Piramaya Sage, that means thank you in her language. Uh, that was very beautiful. Uh, so as we've heard already, there are lots of ways to get involved in university life. To give you an idea of what's out there and all the things you can get involved with, you're first going to see some videos from our USAF student clubs and associations. These will then be followed by a message to you from the Honorable Tina, Tina Beaudry Miller, uh, the Saskatchewan Minister of Advanced Education. Hi, I'm Tina Beaudry Maller, the Minister of Advanced Education, the Minister Responsible for Innovation in Saskatchewan, and the Minister Responsible for the Status of Women. And I want to extend a warm welcome to all of the new and returning students here at the University of Saskatchewan. While COVID has changed the traditional orientation experience and the way we physically engage with each other, I know that everyone on this campus is working really hard to find ways to make you feel at home and included in this really vibrant campus community. You are literally one of tens of thousands of people who work, study, and engage here. And although you may not be able to physically connect right now, many new faces will be reaching out over the course of your studies to support you, challenge you, and create lifelong friendships with you. You're not only an important part of the fabric of the University of Saskatchewan, but also the city of Saskatoon, and most certainly of our province. We want you to learn, grow, and thrive here in Saskatchewan. Please take every opportunity to make connections with the people around you. If you need help, remember that the University of Saskatchewan's strategic plan is be what the world needs. So make sure to reach out to staff and faculty members who are ready and willing to assist. And when you have the opportunity to help, reach out and give your neighbor a hand. I hope we're able to connect in person sometime really soon. Best wishes and good luck on your academic journey here at the University of Saskatchewan. A sincere thanks to the Minister for caring and sharing. Lauren, back to you. All right, so thank you to all of you who are continuing to post on social media using the We Are You Sask hashtag. I'm gonna share a couple of the highlights that have been coming in over the last couple of minutes. So we have Chloe saying, I'm so excited to get back to learning and having a solid routine. Me too. Orientation day, boys, from Clarence. Hopefully when things open up again, we can all get together from Tess. Yes, same here. I'm so excited to make new friends at the U of S from Safi. Even though we're home, I'm really excited to meet new people from around Canada and around the world. Also to live a journey filled with learning and new opportunities from Isabella. Excited to start classes and learn to become a teacher from Persephone. I'm excited to learn new things from Miranda. I'm looking forward to seeing what remote learning looks like at USASC. I think we can all agree on that. Mixed feelings as school starts soon. I don't want my summer to be over, me neither. But I'm also excited about school resumption from Tima. 
I'm excited to be able to have the flexibility of doing classes at my own pace while being in the comfort of my own home from Logan. Excited to learn and meet new people from Madison. And keep checking students.usas.ca slash events for uh, that orientation link for more things happening. Um, please also keep engaging with the USAS hashtag. Um, ultimately, the power of social media and online platforms is really what's keeping us together right now. Um, the past six months is something that really none of us have experienced in our lifetimes, regardless of generation. And it really is social media that is keeping us connected. Um, it's the fabric of our community, and it's really going to be integral as we move into really what is going down in history as the first online remote learning experience ever. And so this is a really great way to reach out, check on each other, keep things positive. Um, you know, over the last few months, like day to day, things look really different for all of us. If you're experiencing a really hard time uh, and it's going to happen, it's inevitable and that's totally okay. I think it's really important to be real with yourselves and each other. Um, students and staff and faculty at USASC, like we are all embarking on this journey together. And so stay connected when it's safe to meet up in person, do so and wear a mask. It's not only good for yourself, it's helping protect others. And ultimately just remember that we are USASC as a community, which means that we are all members belonging to this community. And so social media is here to bring us together and not divide us apart. And so reach out to your fellow classmates. Um, you will be using Canvas as the learning management system, and so you'll get to know who's in your different courses. Uh, ask for people's social media handles, ask for their phone numbers, text, call, Zoom, whatever floats your boat in terms of social media. Um, and just remember that take time away from your screen. If that's one thing, as someone who works in communications, uh, taking a break from my screen is so healthy. It's so good for my own self-care. And uh, really that's the most important thing to remember as we move into a historic new semester. Uh, self-care is the most important thing, which means work, study, life balance, make sure you're getting your social time in, keep, keep in touch with your friends and family back home if you are new to Saskatoon. Um, really just keep all of that in mind. I'm sure these are things you know already, but it doesn't help to, or it helps to hear it again, uh, again and again. And you're gonna keep hearing those messages as we really start leaning into the semester. So I just wanna say thank you so much to all of you from near and far who've been engaging with us on social media and using the We Are You Sask hashtag. Uh, keep using this hashtag, keep posting on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook. Uh, you Sask has accounts on all of these platforms. Watch our videos on YouTube. We really want to encourage you to engage with us because we're here 24 7 throughout the year orientation is just the kickoff to a series of events that are going to be taking place and it's going to be a really exciting and uh, new experience for the semester thanks Lauren that was such a great message uh, those are some very powerful words uh, so right now we're so excited to share our final video message of the morning from the University of Saskatchewan's president and vice chancellor Peter Stoichev he recorded these thoughts for you a few days ago. Good morning. I am Peter Stoichev, President and Vice Chancellor of the University of Saskatchewan, and it is my distinct pleasure to welcome you all to the university, particularly in these extraordinary times. Traditionally, I'd be speaking to you on a sunny day in the bowl, but I am honored and excited to greet you virtually today as we all continue to adjust to the new reality of the global pandemic. First of all, let us acknowledge that we are all on Treaty 6 territory in the homeland of the Métis. We pay our respects to the First Nations and Métis ancestors of this place, and we reaffirm our relationships with one another. When the world changed due to the pandemic, the university changed as well, quickly shifting to the remote delivery of courses in a new approach that continues as we begin this new academic year. While we remain largely apart, Remember that there is an entire campus community dedicated to supporting you as you pursue your passions and programs. Like all universities, we have had to make significant changes to ensure the safety of our faculty, staff, and students, which remains our top priority. And we will continue to work closely with public health officials throughout this academic year to keep us all safe. 
The past six months have been challenging for all of us. I have also been inspired by how we have all come together as a campus community and alumni family to support one another from collecting and distributing personal protective equipment to medical workers, to feeding those in need, to raising funds for students personally affected financially by the pandemic. We have worked together to make a difference as we learn and adapt and emerge stronger than before. And while you were joining the university at a time of transition, what has not changed is our commitment to fostering a campus culture of inclusivity, diversity and equality. I encourage you to be curious, to be creative, and to be compassionate. Whether you are on campus or studying remotely, you are always a part of a world-class institution and a member of Canada's U15. The value of a University of Saskatchewan degree remains as high as ever, despite the changes the pandemic has required us to make. You will be mentored by award-winning researchers and professors and supported by some of the finest research centers in the country, including the Canadian Light Source and Vito Intervac, both now on the front lines of the global battle against the global pandemic. This is an exciting chapter in your lives, and you are part of a truly historic class, the first in the history of the University of Saskatchewan to begin a new academic year with the majority of courses delivered remotely as the world continues the fight against COVID-19. Whether you are joining us virtually from near or far, from across the province, throughout the country, or from around the world, we are dedicated to helping you along every step of your academic journey. As we look north, this is also a special year in particular for the city of Prince Albert, where we have established our new campus location to begin an exciting new chapter in the university's history in the province. Developing the new campus continues our commitment to building community and creating opportunity, not only for students in Prince Albert, but also for students in Northern communities in the province. We are committed to opening more doors to Indigenous students and supporting them from orientation through to graduation. We are not only the University of Saskatchewan, we are the University for Saskatchewan, here for students from all parts of the province, as well as from across the country, and our international students who have joined us from all around the world. As the global pandemic has shown, we are all part of the global community and know that what affects the world also affects our country, our province, and our community. We're also a national leader in our commitment to Indigenous engagement and reconciliation. Our focus on both world-class research and local community impact has attracted top researchers, educators, and students like you from Saskatoon, from Saskatchewan, from across Canada, and from over 130 countries around the world. As you take these first few steps in your own personal journeys, I encourage you to explore and access all of the supports in place to help make your transition as smooth as possible at this time. Your campus community needs your courage, commitment, and contributions now more than ever. And I look forward to seeing you enjoy great success in this new adventure. On behalf of all of us who are here to support you, congratulations and welcome to the University of Saskatchewan. Thank you, President Stoichev. Yes, um, thank you, Mr. Mr. President. <laughs> in our final few minutes together, we wanted to highlight to you a few other important events and activities you can participate in. This afternoon from 1 p.m., the colleges are hosting welcome sessions, and we really encourage you to join them. You can do this through the links in the main orientation webpage. Also, Access and Equity Services is running two Ask Us Anything sessions this afternoon in which they'll explain the sort of services and programs they offer. Students can register with Access and Equity Services if they require academic accommodations related to disability, religious observances, family status, gender identity, and in fact, any other category within the Saskatchewan Human Rights Code. It's such an important resource, so please check out the New Students webpage for details on how to join and learn more. This year, there's lots of new resources and content on the new student and remote learning web pages. 
please check them out. And be sure to download the app Goose Chase and participate in the USAC scavenger hunt. Now, before we leave you, we do have one task left, don't we, Liz? Yes, we do. <laughs> we need to announce the winner of the grand prize, the $500 gift voucher mm -hmm. for Shop USASK. Nice. And we are very excited to be joined by our own mascot, Howler, who will be generating a random number between 1 and 3,686, nice. which is everyone who registered for today's event, uh, and to pick a very lucky winner of the grand prize. Howler, are you ready? Awesome. All right. Okay, please generate the random number using the highly scientific red button. <laughs> awesome. And now, by the magic of live stream and the assistance of a few crew members cross-referencing a name and number on an Excel spreadsheet, please, may I have the winning number and name? Just give it a few minutes here. And that's on live. All right. <laughs> okay, so the winning number is 1256. And the corresponding name is Morgan K, who is joining the Edwards School of Business. Congratulations, uh, Morgan. All right. Congratulations, Morgan. We'll email you the gift card. <laughs> All right. That was awesome. Thank you so much, Howler. Uh, so it just remains for us to thank our studio guests being here with us. And that was Howler, Madame Patty McDougall, uh, Autumn Laura Smith, our fantastic college students for all of their advice. All right. And for the wonderful music by the Great Stone Singer Alumni Choir and their conductor Jennifer Lang, and to Sig Spiegel. And also our special thanks to Elder Duquette, Chancellor McGreeth, the Honorable Tina Beaudry Miller, and President Stroicheff and to the university's fantastic media production team, without whom none of this would have been possible. And to our DJ and social media host, Lauren. And also to you, Cody. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. And also to you, Liz. Thank you. Uh, but most of all, to you, the students of our University of Saskatchewan community. Thank you so much for joining us and staying with us. And we wish you an exciting and healthy year ahead. And we look forward to being together very again very soon. Yes. All right. Goodbye for now, you Sask. Wherever you are.